Okay, so I made this template uh, using Photoshop and some measurements I actually got off the internet uh, from Pentax uh, forums. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to print it out 100% size, but I'm going to do 4. Um, so it changes the scale when I do that, so I have to change my scale back to 100%, 100% scale. And uh, yeah, then just print. You know, printing. Okay. All right. So we have our template that I cut out early. I uh, printed out earlier. I'm gonna cut them out so they're manageable size. You probably only need one, but I did extras just in case I mess up. All right, so we need this, and we need our focusing screen. It's the EE-S by Canon. Uh, it's the best one for low light. What it does is it uh, has little micro lenses on it that basically make the out of focus part even more out of focus. Uh, it's a little darker than the other ones. Or the original one that you have in your camera, whether it be Pentax or Nikon or whatever else has a a focusing screen that's not adequate for a 1.2 to uh, 2.8 uh, lens. All right, so oh, look, it comes with a little set of I think that's tweezers there. You can see how big it is, so we have to grind it down. All right, but what I'm going to be doing is putting some good quality scotch t scotch masking tape on it. Um, it's made by 3M. Uh, make sure that you use high quality uh, masking tape. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll get gunk all over your screen. So I'm just going to make sure there's no dust on my gloves. These are important as well. I'll open that up. Oh, it's so pretty. What I'm going to do right away is, oh jeez, I should have taken this off before. Ugh. There we go. Got a nice long strip here. And cut it so I don't have to peel away at it a bunch of times. Alright, so I think I'll wrap around doesn't really matter which way you wrap it around. I'll start with we gotta actually we gotta note which side is the matte side. So the side if you're holding the tab down, it'll be down and to the right. So remember that. So I'm gonna put this on here like that. And wrap it around. And then Careful not to scratch your lens. Alright. And I'll take this and I'll do it again over on this side. So remember, down and to the right, the we'll have the uh, matte side facing you. Alright. But what I got it I should do, just so we don't have to remember that over and over again okay put that down there I didn't get my, my marker but I, luckily I have one close um, another reason to have good masking tape is if you're using a sharpie they'll bleed through a, a lesser tape All right so I'm gonna mark it uh, F or focus or frosted or whatever we, we won't see that later all right now let's make sure when we get that all sealed up it doesn't really matter around the sides whether it's sealed up because you're going to be cutting that away but you want to make sure that there's not a lot of space see that the stuff could get in into there if it's not sealed up properly so what i'll do is i'll 
take another piece for that side. And we know that that side is the unfrosted side. So now there's no chance of stuff getting in through there. All right, so I'm gonna cut it down. Zip. Oh, sorry, I don't know. I got kids, so I gotta make those weird noises. All right. Let's push that back so we can see it. You can see the size of it. So then what we do next is we take double-sided scrapbook tape. I should really pull these all out earlier. All right, you know what? I'm gonna have to edit that. Well, my hands, they don't need it anymore because it's covered up. So let's try getting this out. Double-sided. I haven't used this double-sided before, but I went to the Dollar Tree. And let's see when that gets sticky. Why does it sticky? There it is. It's sticky there. I went to the Dollar Tree and picked this up, right? Um, it's $1.25. So I don't know how much it is in, this, in uh, other parts of the world, but it's a really good deal for double-sided tape. So what I'm going to do is I'll take a little bit of it. And I'll put it across the front of here. All right? Take a little bit more. Alright. And put it across the front of there. Oh, I'm gonna use the see I have masking tapes doesn't stick that well, so I'm gonna use it to press it down. Alright, now what we'll do is we'll cut this even smaller. So that fits over top of cut the sides even it'll be easier to get it centered so cut it so it's about an eighth of an inch or three millimeters away from the edges all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait okay and see whether that is the which position I should set that in to get the frosted uh, side matched up with the Pentax K5. All right, so here's my Pentax K5. Like that. We gotta open it up. All right, and you should probably use a pair of tweezers that are plastic to do this. I know I've got one over there, but I don't like the way that moves. So I'm going to use this pair of tweezers. And I believe you push. What is it? You push down or up? There. Put you, you, you'll see, you'll get, um, you, you can see on the internet easier ways to do it. Um, but what I basically did was I just put it underneath this. And pushed up okay so now we be careful yes we can be I'm not gonna use this again because it's given me so much trouble and we can leave the uh, the shim in there see the copper shim it's in there okay so we see that's the shiny side and that's the matte side right so if you're looking at it and you have the tab down and towards you the tab will be the if you have the frosted side facing you like I did with the uh, other one the tab is down and to the left and like like I said normally you want to use a plastic because look I'm sort of touching the the screen with that so what we do is that's the way we want the template sitting on the frosted side of the um, the focus screen, so we'll go down, and it doesn't matter now which side that's on. But I'm just going to place this back in here for now. 
Okay. Just so I don't lose the copper shim. Yeah, it's, it's not the funnest thing to do, but just push it in there. There, clicks right in. So I'll just cover this up. So no more dust gets in it. Put that aside. So we will look at that. We'll check the edges there. And we'll just eyeball where it needs to be, okay? So there's the edge there, there's the edge there, the edge up there. So this we will put on. I want to cut it about the same height. There we go. Put it on. Press it nice and firmly. Don't crack your screen. I doubt you could, but you know, like you said, I said earlier, the tabs down here, down to the right. All right. So now we have the template on there, and anything we ground away anything that's not black. All right. So. That's how we prepare for it. Um, I will be, we'll get right to the, you can do whatever you want with it. It's nice and well protected by the good quality uh, masking tape. So I'll, we'll get to the other part in a minute. All right. So what I'm gonna do next 